As a journalist, we're trained to be able to report any sort of story, but today is probably one of the toughest ones I'll have out there. So a man was hit and killed by an RTA bus earlier this week. He actually had, was run over by the bus, and then you know, several days later, he died from the injuries he sustained. Now, when it comes to reporting death, it's always a challenge because, of course, we want to interview friends and family, but when emotions are running high, when everybody's still trying to mourn the loss of that person, it's hard for us to go and land those interviews and it's hard to even approach those people. I often feel like such a jerk because I have to go and you know knock on those doors to find those members and and friends that may be able to comment fairly and accurately. Obviously they know everything that's happened with the situation but also having to report the other side. This man was hit by an RTA bus driver who was just you know running his regular route. He says that it was all an accident didn't know that he actually had run over a person. And while we don't know all the, the details of that, it's still an active criminal investigation. It's just, it's interesting. So here's kind of my news philosophy about how to handle these situations. I actually ran across another journalist who was out and about doing the story today. And, you know, I admire her for her efforts. I mean, we're both, we're woman bands. You know, we carry our own equipment with us, our camera. We do our own editing and everything. But there's one big thing that sort of differentiates me between, I think, a lot of other reporters out there. One, they seem to be a lot of the competitors. I'm not saying they're all wrong, and I'm not saying that I haven't practiced this at all, but they'll interview just about anyone and everyone they can to comment on the story. And I'm not degrading that person's work because I admit, when it comes to certain stories, you just have to interview whoever is willing to talk. Obviously, it's hard to track down people who know of the situation, but to me, I like to find the game players, those people who are intimate with everything involved, who can actually, you know, talk highly or not highly or whatever it is but knowledgeably about this person's life and about the situation that happened and then just being fair to those people I mean if I were to die and if someone did a news report about me I would hope that that reporter didn't pick strangers off the street to talk about my life because while well, those people may have beautiful things to say and I'm sure many people that if I grab someone out here right now they probably would but I don't think it's fair to that family to that person who died or whatever it is to make this story happen. So it's just, it's, it's interesting to see how everybody approaches it. And certainly I've done, I've done the stranger interviews for just about anything. And when it comes to a general news story about something silly and quirky, I don't care about who I talk to. But when it comes to this type of story, my philosophy is always apply, always go for those game changers, or those, I guess they should say, not game changers, but those people who were game players, who were there and who were a part of it all, and who could speak as accurately as possible about the situation at hand.